Now that we have set up the development environment, we are going to set up the unit testing in memory database. So for that, let us go to Visual Studio. In here, go to the publisher's service test file. And just before the setup method, we are going to write some code. So for that, I'll just type in here private static. And then we are going to create the DB context options. So DB context options. Let us import the namespace and the namespace is going to be the entity framework core. Then we are going to pass as a parameter the DB context file that we use in our project. And that is the app DB context. So app DB context. And we added a reference to the project in the previous part. So the reference in here will be the mybooks.data folder. Then we are going to type is equal to new. So new db context, the options builder. And this will take as a parameter the app db context as well. So app db context. And then in here we are going to use the use in memory database method. So dot use in memory database. We don't need to import the namespace because this belongs to the entity framework core, but we need to pass as a parameter the database name that we want to use. So I'll just type in here the database name. So database name is going to be the book db test. And then down here, we want to get the options from the DB context option. So dot options. Now here we see that we have an error and that's because we haven't provided a name for the static context options. So I'm just going to name this one, the DB context options. So now you can see that the errors are gone. And next, we are going to create the app db context reference. So app db context. And then I'm just going to name it context. And then inside the setup method, we are going to set up the new application db context. In here, the first thing that I'm going to change is the setup decorator. I'm not going to use the setup, but I'm going to use the one time setup. And the difference between these two is that you set up the database only one time by using the one time setup. And then you can use the database in as many methods as you want. And then at the end, you can dispose the database related stuff. So we said that we are going to use the one time setup. And then inside the setup method, I'll just type in here that the context is going to be the new app db context. But now pass as a parameter the db context options. And in this case, this is just an in memory database. So if you go to the solution explorer and then go to the data, then inside here, let us just go to the app db context file. You can see that this file also takes as a parameter a db context options. So we have in here the db context options which will be passed as a parameter to the appdb context. If you go to the appdb context file, it also takes as a parameter the db context options. But where does it come in the project? In the project, if you go to the solution explorer, then you go to the startup.cs and then scroll down in here. You can see here that as a parameter, the appdb context gets the options from the use SQL server. But in our unit testing file, we are not going to use the SQL server. Instead, we are going to use an in-memory database. Then next in here, we are going to just type context.database.ensure created. So this way we make sure that we have the database created. Then after the database has been created, we want to see the database. So see it, database. We don't have this method, but we are going to create it. And then after we have set up the database, 
we want to have the unit test as we mentioned and then at the end we want to destroy the database for that we can use another decorator and that is the one time tier down and then down here i'll just type public void i'm going to name this method clean up then inside this method inside the cleanup method i'm going to type context.database.ensure delete Now the only thing missing in here is the seed database. So for that down here I'll just type private void seed database. Now inside here we are going to have some code which we are going to use to unit test the publisher's service methods. Now here I'll not type all the code, I'll just copy and paste some code in here. And you can find the same file in the downloadable section for this part. And here let us scroll up and import the necessary namespaces. I'll just start with list and the list belongs to system.collections.generic and we have the publisher. So this is the mybooks.data.models and here we can basically see that we have created three publishers with the ID 1, 2 and 3 and we are just adding the publishers to the context.publishers and down here we have two authors the same way we add the authors to the context file then we have two books let us import the namespace for the date time that is going to be system and down here we have the relation between books and authors and then at the end we just add the relationships and then to save all this data to the database, we use the context.savechanges method. So basically, if you scroll up one more time, so the first step in here is that we create the DB context options, and then we pass the options as a parameter to the app DB context. Then we make sure that the database is created. We add some data to the database. Then here we are going to write some tests, but after the tests are executed, we are going to clean up the database by using the context.database.ensure deleted method. 